Welcome back everyone. As most of you know, the iPhone 13 Pros, even from the iPhone 12 Pros, have this new LiDAR sensor at the bottom. Now what this does, it basically allows a lot more AR related apps to have a lot more accessibility for your specific device. So typically, with our iPhone 12s, we, you know, with any iPhone that doesn't have a LiDAR sensor, there can be some times where an app that uses AR, things like, you know, some games use it, the IKEA app use it, which is one that I use to think about all the time, Snapchat, a lot of these applications, you know, sometimes they may have some objects that you can throw out into, you know, like the camera app and move it around and it looks so real, but it's not. Basically, whenever you have those type of AR applications, having a LiDAR sensor at least increases the stability of those specific things. Now you can still have AR and all that stuff without a LiDAR sensor. All it does is it increases the stability of it. So with a phone like an iPhone 13 Pro with that LiDAR sensor, all it does is it allows you to have a little bit more just capability with it. Now there's no way for us as a user to just unlock it, but apps that we have, we can go ahead and utilize it, which is really awesome. So specifically, I'll throw you one example within Apple's website. They basically give you the ability of using AR to see the iPhone 13 Pro or any iPhone 13 as you know any device. Now in this specific case, with this you know specific example, you can do this on any iPhone, even an iPhone 12 without a LiDAR sensor. But with an iPhone 13, you're just getting more stability with it. So in this case, we'll go ahead and click see iPhone from there. It's going to launch up our iPhone. And you will basically be able to see that it'll at some point detect our image and our you know, ability. I have a pretty bad signal. So just like that, as you can see, the iPhone is for some reason right here out of nowhere. So that's not a really good example, but I can go ahead and move it around. And this would be an example of AR, for example. So I can go ahead and move this around. And you can see if I were to move it around on each way, it pretty much stays in the same spot. But I'm able to pretty much move it around. Now I can't go too far into it. And it's a pretty cool thing. I mean, it stays in the same spot. And, you know, Apple's website is one, you know, app that uses this. There's a multitude of different applications that you can utilize this with. And in my opinion, it is one of the coolest things ever. So that is essentially how to use it. You want to find applications that have, you know, some sort of AR capability. You can also probably make your way to your app store and probably even click on search and probably even type in AR and find some other applications that use AR. Here's AR augmented reality video. Here's whatever this is. There's a lot of other apps that use that kind of stuff. Here's a LiDAR app specifically. So there's a lot of other capability you have here, but specifically with AR, you know, augmented reality kind of things, that's how you pretty much use a LiDAR sensor. So that's pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.